How's it going, everybody? This is Caden Q back with another playing card deck review. Today, we are reviewing the NOC Pro Edition in the Jet Black colorway. A couple things to get out of the way really quick. Quality playing cards made in the USA, distributed by the House of Playing Cards. I believe House of Playing Cards is Alex Pandrea's company. Alex Pandrea from YouTube. He's a magician. Lots of tutorials. Um, and I might be wrong about that, but I believe these are like his cards. Alex Pandrea like made the NOC playing cards. Okay, uh, with that out of the way, what exactly are they made out of? Well, they're made by the United States playing card company, B-Stock, but it's crushed B-Stock. It has the springiness and the durability of regular B-Stock, but it's not so big in the hands, and it's just a little bit softer. So some of your card moves you can do just a little bit better. Awesome. In this deck, just to get it out of the way here, come on, if I can open this box, there we go, it comes with a fully marked card. So this has a QR code, takes you straight to their website, tells you how these cards are fully marked. Um, I will go through this marking system at the end. Okay, I'll put this back inside, and we'll get back into the review. The number one thing of note about these cards, uh, because it's not really marketed, so you kind of have to just, if you know, you know, and if you don't, well, you're going to learn later on like I did. In this deck, there are exactly two queens of hearts here, just like so. You can use this for all kinds of effects. You know, I mean, there's plenty of effects. People like to guess the Queen of Hearts a lot. Uh, you know, you could do like some mentalism, something really like that. Or there's just a couple David Blaine tricks that require two cards. It's just really nice that we have two cards in this deck. For someone, the Queen of Hearts, double lift, give them another card. Oh, I have, uh, you have the Queen of Hearts and I have a different card and you can use it uh, to swap the cards, something like that. Anyways, I do appreciate that, but it's not labeled in any of the marketing. So uh, I learned this the hard way about two weeks into owning these cards. I said, what the heck? I got two queens of hearts. Trust me, it is supposed to be like that. Okay, let's take a look at the jokers here. They're identical. Just a little star in the middle. I like it. It's quite subdued. And for just for prosperity's sake, let me find the ace of spades for you here. Come on. There it is. Ace of spades. House of playing cards. Professional edition. Premium quality. There we go. I got these cards for approximately, I believe, $11 from 52cards.com. What do I think about these cards? I like them. Uh, I, I think they have really nice spring. They have nice durability. All of the marketing of like the Crushed B stock, uh, I believe it holds true. I really like it, and uh, I think you'll like it too. These cards have really great like slickness for gambling effects, that kind of thing. Like if you're, if you're going to do some false shuffles and you just need to like slide them out real quick, just like that or something, you know. Terrible false shuffle there, but anyways, the cards, they slide together quite nice. Just like so, boom, 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 and there you go. You have yourself a mediocre false riffle shuffle. Anyways, uh, so I feel like the cards have really retained their slickness. I like that. I think they look quite sleek on the back. Um, these are cards that I feel you could take to a gig. People aren't going to think these are like magic cards. They're just really nice playing cards, and that's what I like about them. I feel like they have held up quite well for me. I really like them. Uh, and I have not dealt with any problems with the cards sticking. I'm going to be honest and say that these are not my super daily driver cards because, frankly, they're just too nice. I don't want to mess them up. But anyways, uh, enough with that. Let's get into the marking system. I'm trying to kind of make this review a little bit faster than some of my other videos so I can talk about this system for you here. Okay. First thing of note is that in this system, you all, there's three places. Sorry. Three. Three, no, there's three places that you need to pay attention to on the card. The very first place is actually the outside of the inner white border. So you see how there's a curve here. What we actually need to do is we need to spin this card around until we find a point. But this is a joker, so it's not actually marked. That's my bad. Let me cut the cards here. Boom. There we go. I should have a normal card now. Okay, so the first place you got to look is on the outside of the inner white border. So right here, you see how there's a point on the inner white border? That means the card is oriented correctly. The first thing of note, or the, I guess that was the first thing of note, but the second thing to look at is the outside of these black corners. That determines the suit. One point is spade, two points is hearts, three points is clubs, and four points is diamonds. You'll see on the back here, we only have one black point. These are all curved. One black point on the outside. The second or the third thing to note is that the inside corners, that's what determines the actual number. So this is a binary system. So we go by the pointed parts. So in this whole black part, there's a point right there on the inside. Uh, 
this is how it goes. So if there's a point here, it's one. If there's a point here, it's two. If there's a point here, it's eight. And if there's a point here, it's four. All the points, you add them up together, add it with the suit, and you're good to go. So on the outside here, we have one point. That means this card is a spade. Down there on the bottom right of the inside black part, we have a point that is two. Everything else is rounded. I believe this card is a two of spades. Let's see if I'm right. Two of spades, just like that. Let us grab another. Inside white part is pointed on the top left. That means it's oriented correctly for you. On the outside, we have two points. This is a heart. And on the inside, we have a point on one and a point on four. So this is a five of hearts. There we go, five of hearts. And you got the idea. Let's do one more, just one more. Um, okay, inside white point is right here. On the outside, we have one point. So this is a spade. On the inside, we have a point on one, a point on eight, and a point on four. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. This is a king of spades. Let's take a look. Here we go, a king of spades. Um, I do believe that this marking system is really quite good. It's a subdued marking system. I've held these cards in front of a bunch of people. No one has ever guessed that these cards are marked. They're very sleek. You can take them to a gig or a function, and people are not going to think that they're magic cards. And the marking system is highly unnoticeable. I love just having a person hold up a card and I read it. It's kind of fun, and they never know how I do it. And I mean, that's kind of the beauty of these cards. It's really nice to have a marking system. I, what I do like about this marking system is that it's also easy to ignore. If I'm really doing a trick and I'm doing it like, like let's just say like a random pick a card trick, I don't want to be distracted by the mark on the back of the card. If all my skills, I know the trick, I can just, I can produce the right card and I don't need to be distracted by the back. And that's what I like about this. I don't have to look at it if I don't want to. For the average person who's not quite looking, they don't know what to look for, they're not gonna notice that some are rounded and some are pointed. And if they do, they're not even gonna think anything of it. Okay, so final thoughts about these cards. The NFC Pro Jet Black version. I really quite like these cards. If these cards were like $5, I would buy bricks of them and these would be my main go-to card. The only thing I don't like is the price. And you know what? That's valid, but because these cards are great. I mean, for $12, these cards really are a really good deck, but I just don't want to every day carry these cards in my pocket, mess them up, all that kind of a deal, because they're just too expensive. They're nice, they're expensive. These are the pro edition. I really love these. One more time, House of Playing Cards distributed, NOC Jet Black Pro, US PCC made with crushed B stock. They are fully marked. It's a binary marking system. These cards for me were $12. You can get them at 52 cards. I think you can get them on uh, houseofplayingcards.com. And I think that's kind of it. I mean, you can get them all over. I think over a million decks have been sold, but I don't see them like everywhere, everywhere. So, you know, go out there to your, uh, your best retailer that carries these. And I think they're worth a try. Anyways, this is Caden Q back with another deck review. I hope you enjoyed this one. A little shorter, quicker video than usual. And uh, I'll get back to another review soon. Please subscribe, like, comment if you want to see more. And uh, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can leave it down below. Thanks. Have a great day.